Leslie's Lessons. So today I wanted to talk about having growth and having progress. And, you know, what I'm, I'm inspired to talk about this because this is about sometimes a relationship from your past that you thought that you decided that you chose for your valid reasons was completely done, never to be revisited again. But something happens when you grow. Maybe you lose a loved one or you lost a job. Something happened of value in your life or something good was brought into your life. New love, something. And it just has you thinking, man, this this relationship here, I see it differently now. I have to see it differently now because I want to grow from this. I want to move on. And I don't know who needs to hear this. I don't know if you have a relationship with someone that you haven't spoken to and it's hard. You have your reasons. But if you decide, for whatever reason, to just say hello, to just show up, to their wedding or funeral or baby shower, um, support their, their book signing, whatever it is. It doesn't mean that you have to continue the relationship where it once was, but you can continue to grow and progress. We think that Sometimes when things happen, well, you're not the same person you were in grade school. You're not the same person that you were in high school. You're not the same person that you were in college. You're not the same person ever since you got married. You're not the same person ever since you got a kid. We're not supposed to be. And I've never understood why can't someone evolve? You can evolve, be aware of your past. And still honor your present. You can still look forward to a future. But if you are not embracing your present more than your past, then you are still in the past. You're not betraying your history because you are appreciating what is happening in real time. And I think if you are not clear with that, you will always feel this tussle and not set up boundaries for your growth, for your own progress in life. And you will resent others who are able to do it and embrace those who have no clue how to even start. We are here. For a certain time frame. And if you're not aware of why you are here, you'll just be living and checked out. Maybe not checked out completely, but not checked in to your purpose in life, which can be more than one thing. Growth and progress can still take place even if the relationship has evolved into something that is no longer what it used to be. You're no longer in love. You're no longer best friends. You're no longer married. You're no longer, you know, romantic. You're no longer that friendly. You're no longer in business. Like, you're no longer close. Evolution is inevitable. Change is inevitable. And I think if you embrace it, it won't feel like a fight. It won't feel like punishment to you. I just want to encourage someone who's tussling. And what I've learned 
Um, when you have that tussling, that means you have your focus more on you as opposed to the redemption. You know, now it's like, you know, pride based or the issue based. And I know it feels like we're cheating ourselves when we just kind of let that person back into our lives in some way. Um, we're opening the door um, to trouble or something, but it's really our responsibility now. Whatever happened in the first round, that was on them. The second round, this is on us. This is a new person. You have better discernment. Um, you have things going on in your life, and that should be the focus. You want to be happy, peace, drama-free. You don't have to bring the person back in your life the way that they once were. You now have boundaries. You now know who you are. Um, you now love yourself more. You've leveled up in different ways. So now you understand how and where this person could fit in your life because you are in charge of that. And while we cannot control others, we can control ourselves. We can control how we react our thoughts, our feelings, things that we pay attention to, things that, you know, overcome us at times and we become emotional, we can manage that. You know, even if you say, nah, I know how I feel right now. I'm getting really upset. I'm really excited. I'm feeling anxious. I don't want to be here. Excuse yourself. But you can excuse yourself without you know, maybe saying something that you will regret. Um, because we don't know what the other person is thinking. We don't know how they feel. Um, sometimes people are horrible at being initiators and they're thinking something completely different from us. And they're just looking for your cue. They want to follow your cue and then they take over and feel more comfortable and express themselves. But whatever this is, whatever it will be, it is about growth and progress. And growth encompasses doing something different. And you have to commit to that. I'm going to handle things differently. I'm going to conduct myself differently. I know how I, I used to react. I know how I can still react. But I also know the result when I react in that way. Now, is it worth it me being that way? Is it worth it me saying that thing? Is it worth it me saying, oh, if you only know what I can say right now and entertain these side talks in your head and you really just want to get over that too because it's still doing the same thing. It's just that you're not so we just want to practice on not even giving ourselves mental permission to entertain these thoughts, even though you're not saying it out loud, that's still the way that you think. You, you still have that, 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 that fire inside. And the only thing that has changed is how you keep your mouth mum, but you still feel that way. And real growth is seeing things in a bigger scale than what you're used to from a different perspective. Um, you don't always have the last word. You don't always win the argument because now it's irrelevant. And you, you don't want to get into the pettiness. And what is really a definition of pettiness? To me, it's just what we focus on that is so irrelevant and we make it relevant. We give it the spotlight. We react in a certain way because we have deemed this thing of value, knowing that it is not of value, but we feel so strongly and want to be vindicated. We want justice. We want to smirk on our face. We want to see you fall. We want to see you fall in some way. Growth and progress doesn't look the same as you continue. It doesn't look like the relations that you had before. 
it doesn't sound like what you sound like before. You don't hear it in the same way. You don't respond in the same way. You're open to something different now. Give yourself permission to laugh off certain things that you wouldn't have before. You give yourself permission to show up and be in an environment as a whole different being like you wouldn't before. You could walk away easier now. You could stay quiet now. You could be around different people now. You don't apologize for who you are now. You know, you don't act out or need validation or anything. You are, you are at peace now. That's growth and progress. And it doesn't mean you, you know, once you say that you're, you've grown, you're on top of the mountain. As long as you're here, you're forever climbing up a mountain. Because as we continue on this journey called life, you will always be faced with, can I climb up this mountain? Sometimes you'll have to go laterally. Sometimes you'll have to stop and be silent and sit and be at peace with your thoughts. But it's up to you to say, I want to continue climbing this mountain. And sometimes you'll find a spot where you're just content and that's okay. You know, it's not about telling you you need to be like everyone else. You need to be a certain type of person, look a certain type of way, see the world a certain type of way in order to be validated with your growth. Your growth can look completely different from someone else. It's about release. It's about feeling free, feeling vindicated in your authentic self, free of opinions, judgments, including your own, and walking this earth unhinged by your fears, insecurities, rejection, and doing it anyway, being who you are anyway, completely aware of what can be said, what can be misconstrued, but smiling anyway. Growth is accepting yourself. Growth is accepting that you cannot change, challenge, control anyone else but you. Even if someone has great insight into who you are, at the end of the day, no one knows you better than you. Allow yourself the freedom. Just be free. And it's okay if you have to come back to the message and remind yourself. It's okay to have pep talks and tell yourself how great you are. And prep yourself mentally, emotionally. Growth is who you are destined to be. And progress is when you keep giving yourself permission to be it and become it. Leslie's Lessons Leslie's Lessons